the next question was uh, how the synthesis of rna upon dna template takes place as mrna was being discovered the first of the enzymes that synthesize or transcribe rna using dna templates was being independently isolated in the labs of biochemists gerard harwitz and samuel b wiz so uh, uh the the enzymes used for the synthesis of mrna were discovered these enzymes called rna polymerases function only in the presence of dna which serves as the template upon which single stranded rna chains are made and use of the nucleotides atp gtp ctp and utp as precursors so these nucleotides Uh, are used as precursors and the synthesis of mrna strand takes place on the dna these enzymes make rna using appropriate segments of chromosomal dna as their templates direct evidence that dna lines up the correct ribonucleotide precursors came from seeing how the rna base composition varied with addition of dna molecules of different atgc ratios so if uh, we add uh, dna which has different atgc ratios and then we allow the dna to synthesize mrna and if we observe uh, uh, analyze the mrna we would find that this atgc ratio of dna will correspond to the augc ratio of rna in every enzymatic synthesis the rna augc ratio was roughly similar to dna's atgc ratio so uh, as the amount of atgc present in dna the same amount of augc uh, was present in rna during transcription only one of the two strands of dna is used as a template to make rna you know dna is uh, double stranded so which strand will act as a uh, uh, template for the synthesis of rna because both strands cannot act as template for the synthesis of rna only one strand uh, is acting as template this makes sense because the messenger are messenger messages carried by two dna strands being complementary but not identical the two strands are complementary but they are not identical rather they are opposite so if these both strands are used for the synthesis of mrna the both strands will give very different or and opposite information to the mrna strand and uh, the these result into uh, very different polypeptides the synthesis of rna always proceeds in a fixed direction that direction begins at the 5 prime end and conclude with the 3 prime end nucleotide so this is from 5 prime to 3 prime in this picture you can see this is uh, double stranded dna so from here it uh, unwinds and makes a loop and inside this loop this is the newly synthesized mrna molecule so bases are added and new bases will be added here and in this way this new molecule will be synthesized from dna by this time there was firm evidence for the postulated movement of rna from the dna containing nucleus to the r ribosome containing cytoplasm of eukaryotic cells so it was established that this mrna is synthesized in the nucleus which contains dna and then this mrna moves out into the cytoplasm which contains ribosomes so here you can see this pink colored this is nucleus and this is dna molecule and this is mrna molecule synthesized from dna and after synthesis this mrna comes out of the dna through these pores or this one 
after coming out uh, to the cytoplasm it attaches with the ribosome for the synthesis of proteins so in this way mrna moves out of the nucleus by briefly exposing cells to radioactively labeled precursors then adding a large excess of unlabeled ribonucleotides which is a pulse chain pulse chase experiment mrna synthesized during a short time window was labeled so first labeled precursors or labeled ribonucleotides were added for a very short span and then unlabeled ribonucleotides were added and then it was uh, checked uh, uh, where the uh, labeled nucleotides are present these studies showed that mrna is synthesized in the nucleus within an hour most of this rna had left the nucleus and was observed in the cytoplasm 